So here we have the Nissan Qashqai on a 67 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. And then these two tray sections which both lift and remove and can be used to divide the boot up as well. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change the information that's displayed there uh, by using buttons on the steering wheel for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using a second ago are here. We have stereo control surrounding that. On the right-hand side, we then have cruise control, speed limiter, and phone controls as well. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you pair the phone up to the car, and that is done over on the touch screen in the center just here. So you would hit the phone icon, and then connect, and follow the instructions on screen, which we're not gonna do at the moment. Music-wise, we have the radio, of course. Uh, this car has got FM, as you can see, AM, and DAB radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. You can do that via the CD player. Uh, this car's also got auxiliary, USB inputs, and you can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. On top of that, we have satellite navigation, access via these buttons. Uh, there's a full video showing how that works on our website and on our YouTube channel. And if I pop the car into reverse, you'll also see we have a 360 parking camera. So reversing camera just here, and a bird's eye view image of the car on the left-hand side there. And it goes a couple of steps beyond that. You can get a front-facing camera and the bird's eye view or a front-facing camera and the front passenger side wheel view. So very easy to park with all of those cameras. Below that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed from here. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. And then when you're happy with those settings, that button turns your air conditioning off, back on again, or hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. You can override that whenever you like. Under that, we have a 12 volt charging socket, electronic handbrake, a six speed manual gearbox. And then lastly, the panoramic glass roof. So there's a button up here, give that a push, and that will open all the way up uh, to the back of the rear seats. And as you can see, that lets in a lot of extra light. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.